so people who've been in a traumatic um, situation or had a traumatic experience, they will have um, raised cortisol levels and they can last for a long time. That's not just like a, like a one-off thing. It can be for a long time and that's going to affect um, their sleep quality and their, their health overall. There's been research on, I think like people in, um, in from an, uh, an earthquake and um, there's done, done from people who've experienced bad ongoing racism and things like that. And, and that all affects your, your cortisol and your stress. It's essentially from, you know, any stress that you get in life increases your cortisol. So whatever that comes from a traumatic experience, you know, just stressful situations, uh, abuse and different things like that. Um, and, and it causes raised cortisol and um, which th there are many other health issues come from that. But one of the main ones, you know, that we're talking about today is, is the sleep, the poor sleep. If you've got high cortisol levels, you're really going to struggle to get good quality sleep. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, and obviously you hear, <clears throat> you know, stories of people who have been involved in a, a war situation and they've yeah. been in that situation um how they struggle with their sleep 